So we have our Drader Injectowell W30000 new welder out of the case. What we want to do is describe and show you how to put the tip on. What's very important is the barrel washer. That barrel washer helps to prevent any plastic from leaking through and going uh, escaping from the barrel. So what we're doing here is putting some anti-seize and heat transfer paste on the barrel washer, attaching it to the barrel, vitally important. Now we're putting some more paste on the front of it to make sure we get good heat transfer into the tip. There's the welding tip that we're choosing. We will put that one on and we'll apply some more paste right onto the threads. So it's a new welder. You wanna make sure that you're doing this out of the box and then each time you're changing tips and on a regular basis just to keep preventative maintenance. Here's the tip nut, gets applied. This is obviously a cold welder. We wouldn't be doing this otherwise. We'd have uh, gloves and whatnot. So there's the tip nut wrench. You're gonna wanna snug that up, not too tight. And now that we're gonna heat it up and we're gonna wait until the red LED turns green and then we know it's fully up to temperature. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tip nut wrench and just tighten again snugly to make sure that it is ready for welding. So it's gonna take about five, seven minutes for it to heat up. So we recommend that you always change your welding tips when the welder's hot. So we've been welding with this particular tip. It's time for a tip change. What we're gonna do is turn the welder off. We wanna let the welder sit for about three to four minutes now. Because of the different materials with the tip nut and the barrel, there's different materials in uh, coefficient of expansion. So we wanna make sure that those materials have settled out. Otherwise, we're gonna cause damage to the threads. Before we do that, we wanna make sure that the new tip we're putting on is nice and clean. So if we've been welding with this tip before, we wanna just get rid of any plastic residue, make sure it's nice and clean so that we get good surface contact between the tip and the barrel washer. When we're doing this tip change, we wanna make sure that we have all the safety precautions like heat resistant gloves and pliers. We do not wanna handle any of the material, any of the steel or metal components without the safety precautions of the gloves. So the welder has cooled down sufficiently because we're able to spin off the tip nut by hand. So no mechanical wrench is needed. This way we know that we're not damaging any of the components. We grab pliers now. We wanna take that and remove the tip that we are not using anymore. And now we expose the barrel washer. What's important about the barrel washer, it has a little locating pin on there. And we wanna make sure that that locating pin is always there during tip change. So we've just exposed the end of the barrel and you'll notice that on the end of the barrel there's a locating pin. That locating pin matches up with the hole in the barrel washer. So that's very critical that it gets matched up each time. So as we're doing this tip change, we're, we're removing any you know, br brass brush or uh, equivalent to remove any residue, make sure that we get a good bond when we start applying the heat transfer paste. Very important that this heat transfer paste gets applied each time we are doing a tip change. So we're going to put this on the heated barrel washer, both sides. So this heat transfer paste, it allows for the lubrication as you put the components together, we're lining up the locating pin to the barrel washer and just make sure that we get excellent heat transfer from barrel to the welding tip. There's our new welding tip, it's been cleaned up. We find the locating pin and we put it on appropriately. Now we add some heat transfer paste to the threads. And again, we add the tip nut and we're gonna use the, the wrench to hand tighten only. We do not want to over tighten 
the tip nut. So once that is snugged up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the welder back on and then we're gonna let it heat up. When the red LED turns green, we're gonna heat that up and then we're just gonna snug that up again with the tip nut wrench and then we should be ready for welding. So now that the welder LED has turned from red to green, we're ready just to snug up the tip nut again with the tip nut wrench. By hand, now we're good to go and we're ready to weld.